शैक्षिक चेक शीट ए चेक शीट इज अस्ट्रक्चर्ड प्रिपेर्ड फॉर्म फॉर कलेक्टिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग डेटा दिस इज अ जेनरिक टूल दैट कैन बी अडॉप्टेड फॉर अ वाइड वैरायटी ऑफ पर्पसेस व्हेन टू यूज व्हेन कलेक्टिंग डेटा फॉर आवरली बेसिस शिफ्ट बेसिस टू कोरिलेट द आउटपुट वेरिएशन सो बेसिकली चेक शीट इज नथिंग बट टू एंश्योर थिंग्स आर देयर आर नॉट सपोज uh say example there is a shipment okay every time you are going to do some shipment right so you need to ensure that there should be a quantity should be perfect as per the po example then packaging methodology should be fine then document should be kept then invoice should be kept so these are the four 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 uh, elements or four items that you need to ensure every time before the shipment so every time you are not able to keep it in mind because you will be busy in some other thing so what you will do is before shipping you need to you create a check sheet with respect to the lot number or quantity lot number or a particular unit number then quantity you will say okay you will take it okay 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 so what happens default you are ensuring all the documents are there therefore you will not miss anything so this is a simple example of check sheet okay now they have made a check sheet for uh, for capturing the defect over a period of time so now what they done they created a check sheet like this 9 to 10 am 10 to 11 am so hourly what they have done they created different different slot so so hourly they going to check the crack has come 8 9 to 10 am 10 to 11 0 then 0 then 0 then 0 then stretch mark 8 then 0 then 0 then 0 then 0 then hold something 7 8 10 1 2 3 say all are zero so now by seeing a check sheet you can say why only between 9 and 9 to 10 am defects are coming in other after the after the uh, after uh, after the 10 am the next hour there are no defects so you found a clue that because of the check sheet why 9 to 10 am there is a defect then you are going to analyze what is happening between 9 to 10 am so is they are doing some analysis uh, some uh, some troubleshooting or from 9 am only the machine will start during starting there is any rejections is there any material cool cooling is happening so the check sheets and give you a rough idea a clue about the root cause or where is a problem So the next one is histogram. So what is an histogram? A histogram is the most commonly used graph to show frequency distribution. It looks like very much like a bar chart, but there is there are important difference between them. So what histogram is nothing but it's a frequency chart. Each data how much frequency is there, and the beauty of histogram is it it will create an center value process mean from there the data will be distributed positive and negative therefore you can form a normal distribution so when to use when the data are numerical when there is a continuous data or a numerical data or it is a variable data when you want to see the shape of the data distribution that means you want to see the distribution which data is producing more something like that especially when in data mining whether the output of a process is distributed approximately normally so as we said you are going to see with histogram whether my data is getting distributed normally or not so when seeing whether a process changes has occurred from one time period to another so you can see the process change also in the histogram chart no normal distribution is that the data is distributed uniformly from the process mean this leads to a bell curve means process mean has a highest frequency that means the bell curve says that whatever the required dimension is producing more therefore remaining are distributed very less at the rhs and lhs therefore 
you can form a bell shape curve there is a bell curve shape bell bell curve shape what is the meaning the required mean as the more frequency process mean as the higher frequency in this case therefore it is forming a bell shape curve so example many proportion parameter causing the output that means all the proportion parameters are fine tuned to achieve four only so now let us calculate histogram in the excel so let us take a data i'll take something uh, dimension or oh, dimension 4 plus or minus 1 mm 4.01 so i'll create a random data no problem 4.02 now i'll select this data go to insert go to charts then histogram then your histogram shall be plotted now if you see eight times only 3.996 for that is only four is formed more we can say process minus four nearly like a four let us calculate here that's equal to average of average is nothing but your process mean then select the data see it's almost four it is very very within a micron segment it is almost round off to four from four the data is distributed positive and negative side so this is an example of this the graph now here one example they given so this is an uh, diameter four plus or minus one mm 3 to 5 mm is my specification lower to upper limit and this is the data the average of the data is around 4.11 you can see the process mean as the highest frequency that is 4.11 then standard deviation is 0.2 that means from 4.11 0.2 mm positive variation is there 0.2 mm negative variation is there then minimum of the data is around 3.8 and maximum of the data is 4.5 and range overall range is equal to 0.7 so this data we can say it is normal because it is forming a bell shape curve that means 4.11 is a process mean 4.11 is producing the higher frequency that means all the parameter or we can say all the proportion parameter are fine tuned to achieve 4.11 still it is a good process and a normality process but still my target is what my target is four therefore i need to still find you in all the proportion parameter to achieve for therefore my process mean and drawing mean will overlap then we call it as a six sigma process or a wonderful process so next we are going to see about stratification